Okay, today we're going to show you a little bit of the new features on the TriCaster Advanced Edition. I'm going to start with a virtual set. Everyone knows, I mean, our virtual sets, we can zoom in, we can zoom out. But one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a Twitter feed. The interesting thing about this Twitter feed that all the data is coming from our new Chrome plugin that allows you to bring data from any website and map it into this uh, Twitter feed itself. Now, the interesting thing is that, you know, if we do a zoom in, what is going to happen, our graphic is going to stay stationary because it's uh, a keyer in within the set. With our new augmented reality engine, when we do this, notice now the graphic is locked in within the virtual set. I can trigger a new graphic, and this graphic as well, thanks to our augmented reality and parallax engine, when I zoom out, notice it's completely locked in within the virtual set itself. I can trigger a different element that I'm mapping on the floor, and all these elements can be changed very, very quickly based on the workflow of the production. Notice I'm going to zoom in once again, and all three elements are completely locked in within the set. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to another set, and everybody is familiar with, I mean, our virtual set technology as well, but I'm going to bring another tool that we have on our system. Our DDRs now allow us to do transition in between them. And on top of that, now we can add metadata to these DDRs. So I can add an, uh, basically a name for a lower third, a description for this lower third. And the only thing I'm going to do is come to my lower third and tell the system to map these fields to all the content on the DDRs. Once that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring our DVE. Video is going to start rolling. I'm going to cut to a new one. And now I'm going to bring my lower thirds. And notice every time that the video changes, automatically our lower thirds are going to be updated. On top of that, using our parallax engine, I can zoom in and you can see how the system adjusts very, very dynamically to the set. Once this is done, I can take out my graphics out, I can take my DVE out, bring another graphic to the scene, and again, these scenes, once again, is going to be mapped with our virtual set. As you can see, this is only some of the many, many, many new tools that TriCaster Advanced Edition brings to you.